I have done something I'd never thought I'd do before, but on this USB stick, I have installed a Linux distro. Yes, I know it may come as a betrayal to many of you, but after the last video I did about Linux in my Unpopular Opinion series, I decided to, you know, why not? I never really tried it, let's actually try a Linux distro. So that's what we'll be doing in this video, as I, a lifelong Windows user, will finally be taking a ride to the other side. Well, the third side, if you count macOS. So, first up, I need is some kind of good Linux distro that's feature rich, you know, really able to punch with the other heavyweights like Windows. And the one many people recommended to me was Ubuntu. So that's what I have here, Ubuntu version 19.10. And it also comes with a very interesting feature that allows you to essentially load the OS from the USB and use the whole thing from the USB before you want to, you know, install it or just forget about it like a really dark traumatic experience. So that's cool and that's what exactly we'll be doing today. I'll be running it straight from the USB and seeing what it's like compared to good old fashioned Windows 10. So let's just go into it I guess. I feel like I'll be uh, releasing a demon almost when I plug this into my PC. It's almost, it's, it's almost a bit stressful, you know. So the thing started up pretty fast and I was greeted by this background of a what looks like a ferret or a weasel or something like that, so that's something. However, one of the first things I actually noticed when I started this up is that for some reason my mouse doesn't work. I plugged it in so it's no longer wireless and boom it worked fine. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, a problem of the whole thing being coming off a USB stick and not being properly installed or what. And unlike with Windows, where the first thing you do is go and install Chrome, you have a semi-decent browser installed already, Firefox. It's no Chrome, but it's there. The first thing I tried to do is download OBS so I could record a screen for this video. But after scrolling down to the Linux section and seeing how there's lots of different commands you have to type, I kind of gave up there. And quickly discovered how the whole command line stereotype within Linux distros is kind of still true. What's also interesting is that you have a direct bookmark to Amazon on the left, which is kind of interesting. I mean, isn't the whole point of these old hipster OS's to, you know, go against big tech instead of promoting it? It was kind of weird. It was a kind of a weird choice for the whole, you know, general vibe of Linux distros, but oh well. There's an app store filled with apps that with icons to look at everyone's first indie project. Instead of Word, we of course have LibreOffice, which I actually used before, but I didn't really remember much about, so I decided to use it again, see what it's like, and its limitations compared to, you know, proper MS Office software were kind of still apparent. Maybe it's me just being used to Office, but everything was laid out very weirdly and crammed, and there are no separate little tabs for everything and controlling everything. I definitely had way less features than that, just a quick look. Leeway Office, it's, it's fine, I guess. Just to get us up an audio player, which is nice, I guess. And for whatever reason, only two of my drives were actually visible inside the file explorer, whatever it's called in here. Only my two hard drives were there, not my NVMe SSD, which is kind of weird. At first I thought maybe it's because there's a version of Windows on it and it's in one of like potentially disrupt any Windows files. But there's also a Windows install on one of my hard drives, so it's like why is that showing up? I mean, JPEGs work at least, so that's good, and all the files are accessible enough. And what's actually interesting is that if you open any Office files, it automatically transfers them into the LibreOffice equivalent, so that's good. And when scrolling through the file explorer, something dawned on me that I only realized at that point is that the whole UI reminded me a lot of macOS of all things. I'm not the biggest fan of macOS and I haven't used it too much but it definitely reminded me a lot of what I remember of it. It was a really like chic modern minimalist look for, for the lack of a better description. I think the whole vaporwave weasel ferret thing as well just kind of shows that the whole feeling they're going for with this whole user interface. And it's not like it, I'm super against it, but oh well. So that was a fun experience, however, there's one thing that it reaffirmed to me is that I will never be switching to Linux. There's just like, no point. Like, it's way more competent than I ever imagined, but Windows still wins. In games, it definitely wins. In the overall quality, in the support, in the features, it just wins everywhere. So I still don't see the point of people using Linux or any Linux distro in a home environment, where they use it instead of, you know, Windows on a normal PC. So I still kind of see like that hipster OS I was talking about in my initial video about it, which 
Again, if you haven't watched it already, I recommend you do is open iCards. Like, the only real benefit people can really say is that it's free, and even Windows is essentially that nowadays, and also that you get the, you know, privacy or whatever, and I, I, honestly, who cares about that as well if you're, you know, trying to be logical about it? That's another thing I made a whole unpopular opinions video about, so how are going to check out my video on privacy as well, if you want to learn more of my thoughts on that, and how that's done, because, like, who cares? And again, like I said in my original video, if you have a very specific use case, like a very specific programming rig or a server or something else, then can then you can use the Linux distro. That makes sense. That is like the only place I can really see you making sense. On a normal PC like this, just be normal, just use Windows. But those are just some of my extended thoughts on Linux and Linux distros, I guess. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know why I'm an awful human being for labeling Linux as the hipster OS and whatever else. And if you want a good PC that runs a good and superior OS, like Windows 10, then I highly recommend checking out Avranas Systems. Because if you're based in the UK and need a new PC, we're kind of the obvious choice, as we offer PCs at a way lower prices for the same performance without sacrificing quality. So it's like a win-win. So check out our PCs down below. Also down there you'll find my Patreon if you want to support the channel monetarily, and also I'd like to give a big thanks to my uh, Patreon Barry Yule, and also an extremely special thank you to Ryan Douglas, thank you ever so so much. Also down there you find my Discord if you want to talk to me or whatever about this video or whatever else. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.